Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Holt Hanley. Good evening. We had a pretty classic summer day today. Started out with that marine layer, transitioned to that nice sunshine in the afternoon. Hopefully you were able to make it out to possibly the Rodeo Carnival. You could see the little Ferris wheel if you look in closely there. That's associated with that Rodeo Salinas that will be going on in the next few days. And overall forecast for that is looking great. Slight cool down into tomorrow, but it looks like every single day will be that same pattern of clouds in the morning. Then by the time you're actually going to the Rodeo, Looks like that sunshine will be coming out Sunday. I'll be going and it looks like it should be some nice conditions there with high 60s, nice and comfortable, and then that sunshine as well with a little breeze to cool you down. Now when it comes to those high temperatures this afternoon, it was nice to have that afternoon breeze because we did have some warmer temperatures, especially in places like the Santa Cruz Mountains, Gilroy, both in the mid 90s right there. Hollister was 91, King City 88 right there. So overall, Fairly warm, but not those triple digits that we've been seeing throughout the Central Valley. Main reason that we're cooler and somewhat moderated was because of those winds that we had throughout the day today. That onshore flow kept us nice and cool. Wasn't too strong, just about 10 to 20 miles per hour. Looks like we'll have even calmer winds tomorrow. Just expecting them to get up to about 5 to 15 along the coast. 10 to 20 for those inland spots as you would expect. But if we look at the overall conditions for the state of California, still have some of that moisture going into Southern California. It seems like that's been the case for the last week or two. Not seeing that monsoonal flow work up to the central coast though, so not expecting any thunderstorms or rain for us tomorrow. We will still have that onshore flow though. And it's actually great to match up this map right here where you see those onshore winds with this map right here where you see the coast in the mid 60s and then Central Valley in the triple digits. The reason for that is because of those winds taking those cool ocean conditions and cooling down places like San Francisco and Monterey. Now the one good thing for the Central Valley, actually two good things, it was cooler today than they were yesterday and then if we fast forward to tomorrow's forecast highs, it looks like that cooling trend is going to continue once again just by a couple of degrees. They're still in the triple digits, but at least their heat advisory has expired. And then not much change on the coast because we're much more moderated. Then when it comes to the overall temperature trend, it looks like we're slightly cooler tomorrow. Temperatures coming up slightly on Sunday. And then it looks like we have a warming trend throughout all of next week. Not a massive warming trend though, not seeing any heat waves on the horizon or even triple digits for the central coast just remaining nice and seasonable for really as far off into the forecast as we can look. Then when it comes to the microcast, we will see that marine layer eventually push back in. Right now it's holding off though fairly nicely, waking up to some of that mist and drizzle though, might even have those windshield wipers going, but then transitioning to that sunshine again, although should see some clouds lingering along the peninsula. So overall the summary there, nice moderate conditions for the central coast. I think this could be a good weekend to start thinking about wildfire. 95% of the state is in that severe drought category. We've seen a number of wildfires popping up recent, recently. So it could be, and we're not too hot this weekend, so it could be a good weekend to clear out some of that vegetation, create a nice little defensible space so you're nice and safe as those fuels get even drier over the months ahead. Now, overall though, as I just mentioned, not too hot over this weekend. To see that, we can look at those forecast highs. Santa Cruz Mountains, finally out of the 90s, mid to high 80s right there, 74 in Santa Cruz. Should be a nice beach day just once that marine layer burns off. Might have to wait until about 11 or 12 for that. 88 in King City though, and then cooler along the Monterey Peninsula, 63 in Marina, 65 in Salinas where we have that Rodeo. Some clouds over the next few days for the peninsula, and then there's that steady warming trend we'll see through much next week. Not triple digits though, so not bad. All right, let's do the quiz. Yeah, our quiz was, what is a temperature inversion? Uh, air temperature changes horizontally. Uh, it's actually, I mean, it changes with height, but... Yeah, it increases with height. Usually you'd expect it to get cooler as you go up. Right. But then if it gets warmer as you go up, it's inverted. But it's very clear where that is. Like, we were looking at a fire with some smoke. I'll tell you what, when you fly, you feel it in a big hurry. But oh, yeah, I bet that. Yeah, you can yeah. often see the inversion with a nice, like, flat layer, which right. tells you where it starts to get warmer. 
Thank you, sir.